papers. You know, you make one bad choice, and then that leads to, oh, well, now I've got to lie to cover that up. Well, I took this drug, now I've got to take this one, and then I've got to take that one. Now I've burned this bridge, so I've got to come over here and try something dramatic. And it's just, it's auto-exacerbating. It just makes itself worse. I don't know what's going on with you, but I know that you aren't making the choices you want to make in your life. I know that you're eight days sober, so I think you need help with drugs and alcohol. And I'll guarantee you there's something going on with you neurologically. I asked Dr. Charles Sophie uh, to join us today. Uh, he's an internal medicine specialist and a psychiatrist. Um, and Dr. Sophie, I'll ask you to weigh in on this. What happens to the brain if, it, if you are not ADD or ADHD and you are prescribed Ritalin, for example? Well, you can awaken a lot of things within your brain because you're changing chemistries and balances and you'll have outrageous responses. You'll have rebound, you'll have rage, you'll have all that kind of stuff. But for you also, I mean, genetically, you don't know, I don't think so, where your biological parents had been from a mental health perspective. I want to introduce you to someone else that I asked to come here. Um, this is Ben Levinson. Ben is the co-founder and CEO of Origins Recovery Center. Ben, I don't think I have ever seen a, a better fit of a dual diagnosis situation. Clearly, we have a drug and alcohol abuse history here, mm -hmm. but clearly there's something else in play here. This is not just uh, drug and alcohol. There's something else going on here. That's what dual diagnosis treatment is about, correct? That's exactly right, Dr. Phillip. What we want to see you do is come be in the midst of a multidisciplinary team that treats far, far more than just addiction. At this point, you need to be selfish in your own behalf and be willing to take care of yourself. Are, are, and I'm making this offer to you that, that your parents are going to pay for this. This is a gift from us to you if you will take it and truly figure out what's going on here. Does that make sense to you to do? Sounds great. We're going to get this started right away. I mean, Thank right you. away. And we'll call you all at the right time when we need you. Mm -hmm. okay. Meantime, yeah. this is between us. Okay. Agree. Okay? Yes. And we'll be there for that, Adam. Yes, absolutely. You do your part, we'll do ours. Absolutely. Actions speak louder than words. Absolutely. Yeah. Next, Robin has a really exciting announcement about a global movement that you can join to help make this holiday season a truly special one for people in need. said I had an exciting announcement to share about how you at home could make this holiday season unforgettable for people in need. Well, it starts today, and it's called Giving Tuesday. Coming on the heels of Black Friday and Cyber Monday, Giving Tuesday is the beginning of a global movement encouraging everyone to talk with their families, their friends, neighbors, and colleagues about the importance of giving. I am honored to be an ambassador for Giving Tuesday. <laughs> Joining Hugh Jackman, Bill and Melinda Gates, and Big Brothers, Big Sisters of America, among other very influential people and organizations. As a longtime advocate for women and children, I recently launched my new foundation, When Georgia Smiled, the Robin McGraw Revelation Foundation, which helps make a difference to those suffering from domestic violence by creating educational programs, as well as drawing global attention to this widespread epidemic. So in the spirit of Giving Tuesday, I would like to ask everyone to join me in helping to end the silence on domestic violence by taking a pledge to become a silence breaker. By signing up, you are promising to no longer sit quietly when it comes to domestic violence and taking a stand for those in need of help. But besides just joining the movement, it is also imperative for you to spread this important message through social media, from Twitter to Facebook to Instagram, in order to get everyone you know to take the Silence Breaker Pledge too. So please go to www.whengeorgiasmile.org to become a silence breaker and to learn more about what you can do to give back on Giving Tuesday. You can also go to www.givingtuesday.org for more information as well. And don't forget.